Mary is the aqueduct which transmits the waters of grace to us. Or, according to St. Bernardine, she is the neck by which the body remains united to the head, and the head transmits strength and virtue to the body. Sixth reason. From the house of Nazareth up to Calvary, Mary was Jesus' constant companion. She, more than anyone else, knew the secrets of his heart, and was and with an almost maternal right, administers the treasures of his merits. It follows that she is the principal and surest support to know and love Jesus. Pope St. Pius X said that those who through diabolical deception or through prejudices think that they can do without the Blessed Virgin find themselves in a deplorable condition. Poor and unhappy people, they neglect Mary with the pretext of honoring Jesus. But they do not know that the Son is not found without Mary, his mother. No homage is more pleasing to Mary than that of knowing and loving Jesus. We conclude, he who finds Mary finds the life which is Jesus Christ. For this reason, Pope Pius XII pointed out the Immaculate Heart of Mary as the hope and the way of salvation for all. And to her he consecrated the world. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, health of Christians, refuge of the human race, conqueror of God's battles, we humbly prostrate ourselves before thy throne, confident that we shall receive mercy, grace, bountiful assistance and protection in the present calamity, not through our own merits, of which we do not presume, but solely through the great goodness of thy maternal heart. To thee, the Immaculate Heart, in this humanity's tragic hour, we entrust and consecrate ourselves in union not only with the mystical body of thy Son, Holy Mother Church, now in such suffering and agony, in so many places, and sorely taught, tried in so many ways, but also with the entire world, torn by fierce strife, consumed in a fire cave, victim Mayest thou be moved to compassion at the sight of the widespread material and moral destruction, of the sorrows and anguish of countless fathers and mothers, husbands and wives, brothers and sisters, and innocent children, at the sight of the great number of lives cut off in the flower of youth, of bodies mangled in horrible slaughter, and of tortured and agonized souls in danger of being lost eternally. O Mother of Mercy, obtain peace for us from God, and above all, procure for us those graces which prepare, establish, and assure peace. Queen of Peace, pray for us and give to the world now, at war, the peace for which all peoples are longing, peace and truth, in the justice and in the charity of Christ. Give peace to the warring nations and to the souls of men, that in the tranquility of order, the kingdom of God may prevail. Extend thy protection to the infidels and all those still in the shadow of death. Give them peace and grant that on them too may shine the sun of truth, that they may unite with us in proclaiming before the one and only Savior of the world, glory to God in the highest and peace to men of goodwill. Give peace to the people separated from us, by error or by discord, and especially to those who profess singular devotion to thee, and in whose home and honored place was ever accorded thy venerated image, today perhaps kept hidden to await better days. Bring them back to the one fold of Christ under the one true shepherd. Obtain peace and contemplate freedom for the Holy Church of God. Stay the spreading flood of modern paganism, Enkindle in the faithful the love of purity, the practice of the Christian life, and apostolic zeal, so that the servants of God may increase in merit and in number. Lastly, as the church and the entire human race were consecrated to the sacred heart of Jesus, that in reposing all hope in him, he might become for them the sign and pledge of victory and salvation. So we, in like manner, also consecrate ourselves forever to thee, 
to thy immaculate heart, O oh, our Mother Mary and Queen of the world, this we do, that thy love and patronage may hasten the triumph of the kingdom of God, and that all nations at peace with one another and with God may proclaim thee blessed, and with thee may raise their voices to resound from pole to pole in the chant of the everlasting magnificat of glory, love and gratitude to the heart of Jesus, where alone they can find truth, life, and peace. <laughs> 